All right, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can edit your very own Fortnite montage inside of DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to be covering a bunch of different aspects. I'll have free presets in the description for you guys to actually check out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into a new project once we actually have DaVinci Resolve open. I'm going to call it... Fortnite montage tutorial and I'm just going to open that up there once we've done that we're gonna go into the edit tab right here go up here to file project settings change our frame rate to 60 and then we're just gonna make sure our resolutions on 1920 by 1080 and then from there the thing that we normally do after that is we find our assets so for me this is actually going to be whatever clips I'm just gonna drag in these clips because I know that these clips are decent but I might not have the best clips in this folder so you know I'm probably only gonna show you guys how to do two clips but I have six in here just in case a couple of them aren't the greatest from there we're also going to find our song so i'm just going to drag in the 637 godwin song i'm not sure satisfaction so yeah that song's pretty good uh you just need a song with with good beat drops that's about it we're going to drag it down to audio two and i'm going to drag this up just so we could actually see a bit better from there i'm going to be showing you guys how you could actually start syncing laying out your markers so we can see the main beat drop right here we can literally just see this the peak in the audio and then this is the second one just press m on your keyboard to add a marker so what I did here after is I added a marker on every clap after the beat because that's going to be our transition point that we transition between the two clips. Super basic. Trust me, it makes sense. Once you've actually watched a Fortnite montage, you'll get what I mean. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to start previewing our clips and we're going to move into syncing and then velocity. So to actually preview a clip, we'll double click on it right here. It'll open up in the window and you know, this clip looks fine. I'm just going to press this little right arrow right here and then I'm going to press this one over here and I'm going to drag it in here. We're going to find the part where we actually get the kill so i'm gonna use my arrow keys on my keyboard add a marker to that spot and then line it up with the marker we've actually added to the song then we're gonna drag it here on the left and cut it down on the right we can see that's pretty well synced so that's all we really need to do and then for this one as well this one's not really the greatest clip um so right here shotgun pellets what i normally sync to a lot of people do the gun firing and that is pretty much that so i got all that done the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna right click on both clips i'm gonna unlink them so that means they're their own thing instead of when they're linked it looks like this it selects both of the clips uh, we don't want that we want them to be their own thing that way when we're editing the speed on the top one it doesn't mess up the audio now talking about speed we're going to be doing time remapping i'm gonna have an advanced velocity tutorial in the description for you guys to actually check out a uh, previous one and then in the future i should be uploading another one in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that we're actually going to right click go to read time controls go to this arrow here add a speed point on the kill we're gonna go one two three four five six seven frames back add a speed point and then go one two three four five six seven frames back again at a speed point and this is what you're actually going to want to do you're going to want to change this one to 50 percent change this one to 400% and then change this one to 50%. And once we've actually done that, we're going to take this over and we're actually going to drag it so it literally goes just a nice little slow mo, just like that. We can X out of that so we can see it looks like. Uh, we gotta adjust it to match the length that it was before. And then after that, we're gonna click on the clip, go down here to retiming and scaling and change this to optical flow. And that'll do frame blending for us. Super simple, built into the software, no plugins needed. And then we're just gonna repeat the same process on this clip. So I'll see you guys once I've actually done that. That's pretty much that guys. Uh, that's syncing done, time remapping done. You know, we got the basics absolutely nailed down. That's what we love to see. Uh, from there, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do impacts. This is what the uh, links will be in the description for, for the preset. So, just come over here to effects grab your adjustment clip you're going to trim down the adjustment clip right at the very end of the clip where the clip ends and then what you're going to do is you're just going to click on the fusion tab right here to go into the fusion tab and then what you're going to do i have two different impacts right here i'm going to do the chill impact first so I'll quickly show you guys how to do this drag it in what it will do is it'll have all these different uh, effects right here i'm just going to drag this arrow and connect it on the left side connect it on the right side this will load all the effects here the only thing we need to do is we need to adjust the keyframes because those are actually going to be messed up so we're going to come up here to keyframes, press this arrow thing right here. And these white lines on the side are actually going to be the keyframes that we want. So we're actually going to draw like a little box around them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly come down here, shift them all over. And just like that, that is pretty much the impact right there. Just a nice little chill layback impact right here. I'm going to change the resolution to quarter. 
really laggy, but trust me, when it's on your own project, it'll look good. We're going to add adjustment clip again. Go to this one right here. Go to the Fusion tab. So then once we're inside the Fusion tab for this, we're just going to drag in uh, the impact right here. We're just going to connect it just like that. Keyframes, same exact thing, arrows. And we're just going to go, we are going to drag this over just like this. And if we really need to, we're just going to select all of these just like this and we're going to drag them over and we missed two effects here so we'll have to fix that manually in a sec we just drag them over doesn't really matter and we're gonna have to manually fix these ones because they are a bit off but we can see the keyframe we want this one to be very start so yes that's what we want and then this shake we need this one like this this one like this start this one right there start that one right there i'll have a actual finished product in the beginning of the video so you guys can see what it actually looks like this is uh just a render issue right now and then lastly transitions all we got to do the separation point in the middle bring an adjustment clip right here go into the fusion tab find where we have our transition saved to so for me right here da vinci and i'm just going to drag this in right here connect it keyframe select drag this over just like that and boom it's that simple we just got to line up that third keyframe with the middle just like that see got the swipe right there free presets in the description make sure you go check that out um and yeah with all that uh, being said i hope you guys did enjoy the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out